uh, Carl Massey here, author of the guidebook, The Happiness. I just wanted to do a bit of um, break dancing. I remember from my younger days doing some. I think I'm pretty crap now, so sorry about that. Um, so here we are. I'm going to talk about one of the chapters from the guidebook to happiness, and it is chapter nine, the science of breath. And what I'm going to do, if you haven't met me, seen me before, doing my little antics here, I'm going to read a little piece out of the book, and then I'm going to riff on the subject a little bit, and I'm going to plant some seeds and give you some specific things that you can take away um, today. I'm also going to entertain you. I'm also giving you some lovely scenery. There'll probably be some people walking past. I'm not sure about this murky water here. It wasn't, it wasn't brown. Um, the other day when I filmed here, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay, into the book. The Science of Breath, Chapter 9. I think we can agree that none of us is going to experience a life filled with happiness without having the breathing thing going on. Of all the ways we can maintain, let alone extend and optimize our life, breathing holds the number one spot. No food for weeks, and we die. No, f no water for days, and we die. No oxygen for just a few minutes, and we die. If we want to live, we must breathe. Therefore, consciously optimizing the way we breathe is essential to increasing our levels of happiness, and in brackets, our health. So here we are, talking about the science of breath. Again, it's something that people, a lot of people assume that oh, we, we already do it. It's um, automatic. We don't have to consciously do it. But here's the thing, the, the more conscious we are of it, the greater um, intake of oxygen that we bring into our body, the more oxygen that is going to all our cells, the greater the healing ability. You know, if we have more oxygen in our body, we've got more energy, you know, plain and simple. So the more energy or the more oxygen we can get into our body by breathing deeper, more fully, the more energy we have to play our day out. The other thing is, when we're breathing, deep breathing, we're activating the part of the autonomic nervous system called the parasympathetic nervous system, which relates to rest, recovery, rejuvenation of the body. So as we focus on that breathing, we get out of the fight or flight response, that stress response, back into our body, slow things down, allow for flow of energy, circulation through our body. Breathing. Now we don't want to breathe into our chest, our upper chest like that. We want to breathe in our stomach and you can't see it at the moment. But my stomach is going out and in as I breathe in. I'm using my diaphragm. Now the diaphragm doesn't have any other role in life apart from the breathing thing. So it's purpose designed for the breathing. So it makes sense to use it as opposed to this thing. The diaphragm doesn't sit up here. It sits down in our stomachs. So what we want to do when we breathe is expand our stomach. Now the yogis of India who have been you know, doing the breath thing for, for thousands and thousands of years come up with what they call the full yogic breath. It starts by breathing into the stomach and the next thing is the, the ribs expand through those intercostal muscles and the very last thing is the shoulders come up. So when we're breathing deeply, we want the stomach to be relaxed. So if we're taking a big breath, we're breathing into the stomach, the ribs are expanding, and the very last thing we do is open up our shoulders, and that's how we get a big full breath in. Now it's such a, a powerful exercise, such a de-stressing exercise, such a good thing for our body, just through the course of the day to consciously breathe, even if it's for one minute. Now great exercise, and you want the, the out breath to be slightly longer than the in breath. So it might be to a count of, say breathing into a count of four, two, three, four, breathing out to a count of six, two, three, four, five, six, breathing into a count of four, I mean do this with me now, two, three, four, breathing out to a count of six, two, three, four, five, six, and one more time because it feels so good, Bring it, breathing into the count of four, three, four, breathing out to the count of six, two, three, four, five, six. So there you go, I mean, just doing that simple breathing exercise, not only in the moment, brings you back into present time consciousness, brings you back into now, slows things down, changes that fight or flight response, rejuvenates the body, 
I mean, apart from all of those things, you're bringing energy into your body by bringing that um, additional oxygen into your body. So breathing is so important, such a valuable thing. Get conscious of it and consciously each day take a moment, even like I said, if it's just one minute, to do those breathing exercises into four, out to six. Do it for a minute, it will change your life in that moment, bring your attention back in so that you're more fully present and able to deal with whatever challenges that you have in the current moment, come up with better solutions and be a better human being. So there you go, tip on um, the science of breath. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you want to get a copy of the book, just go down to below. You can get a sample if you want or just dive straight into Amazon and get a copy of the guidebook to happiness. You won't be disappointed. So thank you very much for joining me on what is a very warm day here in Bali. I hope that you're having a fantastic day wherever you are on this amazing planet of ours. All the very best and take care.